everyone, this is Andy, the 3D Printing Engineer, and in this video, I'm going to show you a time lapse of this on the 3D printer. is pretty awesome. I mean, it's similar to the bunny mask I did from Bioshock, except this is the uh, cat mask that the Splicers wear in Bioshock. And yeah, it's the same thing uh, aside from that. It's, it's a cat. And there's actually whiskers that you can print out. Um, they fit into these little holes on the side that I haven't um, pried out the support material from. Um, however, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. If anything, I would attach a different material, but I'm, I'm not really... I mean, one of those seems super fragile. Um, eventually I'll probably just hang up this and the other mask I'll be printing on my wall. So maybe then I'll, I'll print them or I'll just find some other material, um, like guitar strings or something else just to go in there. Um, I don't know. String. <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah, let me give you some close-ups of this model. Um, I'll put the link down below. I believe it was on my mini factory. It may be on Thingiverse, though. Confirmation of that in the description. The only parts that came out a little rough were on the bottoms, pretty much anywhere where the support material touched. Um, basically, this model prints like, well, you saw it on the time lapse, but it printed like this. Um, and, you know, basically the very bottom pieces here touched the build plate and then support material snaking up the sides. And um, a little bit for the, the eyes. I mean, they honestly probably could have printed without it, but then there'd be some drooping and stringing in there. Whereas instead, it was just the issue of how it looks. When you remove the support material, which is a different issue, it's a little easier to fix. Uh, especially if you're going to be sanding and painting, which I am not. But um, yeah, I printed this in uh, actually at the school right here. This was Matter Hacker's Blue Pearl PLA. And uh, the stuff, uh, it looks amazing and it prints great. However, it is a little, it was a little trickier, um, at least on my CR10. When I printed it on the Flash Forge, it has the Biltac build plate, and it had no problems printing on that whatsoever. It was when it printed on the CR10, however, I was getting problems getting the layer to stick to the build plate, um, which I've never had before with any of the filaments. So I don't know. Um, or actually, I, I've had it with other Matter Hackers filament. I've never had it with any other filament that I've tested on the CR10, like Maker Geeks, uh, Protopasta, Hatchbox. All of that was fine sticking to the sticking to the, the tape build plate, or tape cover build plate. But uh, for some reason, Matter Hackers, um, I've been having bad luck with, with that. I think I had like four failed prints in a row with um, another PLA I have. However, once once you get it to stick, it prints perfect. It's just that initial layer you have to kind of babysit and make sure it sticks. And after that, it gives this like very nice, um, very nice matte finish. Um, there are some, you know, errors in the print, but I, I'm pretty confident that that's either from print settings or the fact that this was printed on the CR10, which is only like a 500, sub $500 uh, large scale printer. And, you know, I don't know if it's settings or if it is um, filament or the printer, but either way, some models come out better than others, that's what you expected, and it's a learning process. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and see you later.